good to be here to speak in front of you uh, to talk to the kingdom's leaders of the future. <laughs> you may remember how some of us felt at the very beginning of the program. Anxious, unsure whether we are able to conduct research uh, under the mentorship of Cal's faculty. We started with a week of lectures in different STEM fields, then initiated our projects after meeting our mentors for the first time. To conduct our research, we had to build a solid foundation in science, and we employed this foundation uh, in performing experiments and analyses, which later on uh, lent us credible results. Between the folds of these academic endeavors were activities that enriched us personally, from the Ice Baker card game, to the Iwaki Olympics, to the Astronomy Night. Then came the last week of the program, where everyone was rushing around in hysteria, checking and refining their work the best they can to meet their deadlines. But here we are now, all 42 final papers and presentations complete. We've done it. This success is not only attributed to the excellent environment that the SRSA, the SRSA team created, but also your hard and sincere work. But I would like to make good use of my position here to remind you all that the journey still lays ahead. We are all in a critical stage in our lives. Our values, beliefs, passions, and personalities are still malleable, not yet in their final form. For that, I would like to shed light on an idea that has been going on through my mind lately. About two weeks ago, I received a text message from my mother. With the recent trend, I saw that she sent me a picture generated by an app that shows you what, would, what you would look like decades from now. I had silvery white hair, wrinkles on my forehead, and around my nose, and a piercing glare. I stared at my older self for a long time. I contemplated the idea that this man's life, his achievements, his memories and reputation are all under my control. Most of what he would describe as his life are things that have not yet been determined. It's like I'm an author scripting the protagonist of my story, writing his, biogra his biography by physically embodying its contents. As I think these thoughts, he looks at me expectantly, as if asking me, who will you make me be? I do not say this to concern you, but to eliminate the degree of control we have over who we choose to be. This is not to say that we can plan out everything in our lives, for there will always be unexpected occurrences, but we are certainly able to choose how we deal with them. Think of all your beliefs and values, and imagine a version of yourself that incarnates all of them. Don't be overwhelmed if you find yourself far from becoming that person. For this is the reason we create them in the first place, to improve. Let's striving towards becoming your imagined self be the definition of success, independent of worldly gains or what those around you are doing. Let us set goals that give meaning to our lives. And and pursue them with passion and a drive to leave our fingerprints on the world. Know that with each contribution, big or small, you fulfill your rung to the human ladder reaching for the stars. On behalf of 2019's SRSI cohort, I would like to express my dearest appreciation towards everyone who made this program a success. Beginning with Dr. Najah and Mr. Saham for their aerial supervision uh, of all aspects of the program, and for Dr. Josh and Professor Stacy for helping us throughout. To Dr. Benno for his utmost concern uh, that our academic and, even, academic and even personal needs are met. To Mrs. Fernhas for the enjoyable activities she planned for us. I would like to thank Motawa and the rest of the counselor team for being the first to attend our matters. In short, I would like to thank everyone in the SRSI team directly or indirectly associated. And of course, not to forget my 41 siblings who made this program an unforgettable experience. <laughs> who I am sure will soon propel this nation's scientific infrastructure to make it a leading country.
among the global community. Thank you.